biodiversity is fundamental for sustaining a balanced ecosystem and continued delivery of ecosystem services. And wildlife, being an integral part of the ecosystem, coexistence between humans and wildlife is the natural way of living. In India, however, over the years an increasing human population, change in lifestyles, demand for natural resources and consequent land use change has led to degradation and fragmentation of natural habitats, thus tipping the balance. The major concern is uh, for the animals which are coming out of the forest and uh, getting into the habitation. Constructions of uh, the railway line, the construction of a road cutting across the protected area is one of the major issues of a human wildlife conflict. In such circumstances, the situation has the potential to shift from coexistence to conflict and conservation may take a serious hit and also hinder achievement of both sustainable development goals and biodiversity targets. Human wildlife conflict brings economic losses to the tune of millions of rupees to the rural communities in India every year. Uttarakhand has witnessed an escalation in human uh, deaths and injuries, livestock kill and overall uh, crop depredation. The challenge is to move from uh, being reactive to proactive. Efforts are being made in different parts of the world and in India to mitigate human wildlife conflict. In Bengal, we've uh, tried to put in uh, specialized squads in uh, strategic locations. Uh, we have about uh, 12 such squads in Bengal spread across the state. And uh, we have tried to reduce the reaction time to about an hour. In certain districts, particularly in Hassan and Kurgu, technology is helping us. We have also tried to uh, sort of radio collar the herds and try to uh, locate their areas and our rapid response team intimate all the locals and all about the movement of the elephant. There is a need today, not just to look at the issue when it happens, but also to identify in advance the drivers of human wildlife conflict in the landscape. And subsequently, to develop a systematic approach to design and implement mitigation measures. With this in mind, India and Germany have joined hands to implement a project on human wildlife conflict mitigation in India, which is being implemented by GIZ together with MOEFCC. We have taken up a project with support of uh, GIZ as our partners, and we have taken three uh, states in the country, Karnataka, West Bengal, and Uttarakhand. So in these three states, we are taking this pilot project to develop these three for the whole country. This four-year project focuses on developing national and state level human wildlife conflict strategy and action plans, standard operating procedures for selected species and issues, and setting up of the national database and monitoring system. The same approach is used to develop divisional level human wildlife conflict management action plans. This multi-level approach of the project ensures that the national strategies are reflected into the field-level implementation for conflict mitigation. The project is field testing selected mitigation measures as well as the SOPs at three project pilot sites Rajaji Hardwar landscape in Uttarakhand, Kodagu landscape in Karnataka and Gorumara landscape in North Bengal. We are looking in capacity development not only at the level of the forest rangers and forest department personnel, but also how the institutions that are forming these professionals take on the issue of human wildlife conflict and will make it part of their curriculum. The project's focus is to reduce the impact of human wildlife conflict on the most vulnerable sections of the society, like rural poor and women. This is undertaken by engaging them on all levels of implementation of the project and by strengthening the field-level rapid response team. The project is aiming at a harmonious coexistence that protects both humans and wildlife from conflict. <laughs>